Now, Credit Suisse expects to post a fourth quarter loss. That's as the bank sets aside an additional $850 million to cover potential settlements related to residential mortgage-backed securities. Joining us now with more on that story is Bloomberg's European Finance Editor Ross Larson. So, Ross, how does this, uh, how does this change the overall outlook for Credit Suisse's earnings? Good morning. Well, earlier they had flagged that there would be provisions and even that the provisions they set aside earlier, which was $380 million, might increase. So there's been a signal that there could be hit. This is the first time Credit Suisse had said that it expects a loss in the quarter. Some had even predicted in early December that that's where it was going. But this is the first time they've said this looks like what we're going to post in the quarter. And, and Ross, good morning. What, what is the background then to these new provisions? They, they come with a lot of acronyms. What are they for? Right. Residential mortgage-backed securities. So this goes, this is all the way back to a financial crisis era matter, which is one of the securities that blew up basically in the financial crisis. And the issue is over a U.S. insurer who insured these securities, which are against obviously housing loans, and they claimed that Credit Suisse had promised to buy them back after their bad performance. So that's the crux of the matter. So it's a very old case that's been, been winding its way through the court for many years. What changed more recently is a judge's decision to ask both sides to estimate what, the, what a possible settlement would be seemed to have triggered the, uh, the first announcement of provisions and, and indicated, I guess, in a way that Credit Suisse is more expecting to have the matter go against them than maybe they had before.